Don't go away, we, we need to chat. <laughs> I've got an interview on Arkham Mackay to hire me. That's strange. That's great. <laughs> um, first of all, it's, it's easy for all of us to forget uh, you're 21 you're years old, it was your first Olympics. How was it? Yeah, it was a great experience. Um, that first week was a bit of a whirlwind and very overwhelming, but um, having had a chance to sit back and get perspective and, and look over my achievements, um, I'm very proud of what I achieved. And uh, had you told me as a, as a school kid growing up in Port Macquarie that I'd be a dual Olympic medalist, I would have been pretty stoked, so very happy. Yeah. 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 As, as you can see, you're not the only one who's very happy about that. <laughs> um, obviously, you would have seen footage of uh, people back home cheering you on leading up to the, to the events, um, but also a number of people braving the freezing cold morning to actually watch it live. How, how did that sort of inspire you? What was the feelings there? Yeah, I guess for me it's very comforting to know that no matter where I travel around the world and race, um, regardless of my results, I've got a people back here who are my strongest supporters, not only my friends and family, but the wider community. And to have come out of the water um, after that 100 freestyle and, and just got the silver medal by one 100th, um, you know, I was pretty shattered, but then the Channel 9 News showed me a live cross to Port Macquarie where everyone was braving the freezing cold conditions and dragging themselves out of bed and you know that's it's a pretty special thing to know that you've got sort of the support of a community and it's, it's something that certainly spurs me on and, and will spur me on for another four years. Now obviously you know you follow a black line up and down all, many many hours of many many days um, but all the hard work that you put in uh, all the effort in getting to the Olympics and to be there amongst uh, some of your peers who no doubt you would have looked up to, you know, not, not more than a few years ago. How, how was that? Yeah, it's a bit of a surreal moment uh, when you're walking around an Olympic village and you see um, some of the famous faces uh, from the Beijing, Beijing Olympics or previous Olympics. Um, but, you know, I think it's something you have to come to terms with and, and if you're going to compete at that level, you've got to... Um, really be confident about uh, who you are as a person and get out and do the job. Well, thank you again, James. We're all very, very proud of you. Two medals from the Olympics. Congratulations, man. I guess um, if I can speak on behalf of Riley and Lyndall and myself, um, it's as big a, a big a buzz for us to come out and thank all you guys today as it is for you to come out and see us. So firstly, thank you to everyone who's turned out today. Uh, it means a lot. I didn't get a chance to get up and write a speech this morning, so you have to bear with me. Um, one of the mottos uh, at the London Olympic Games was inspire a generation. Um, and personally, um, I'd like to think that, that my achievements in the last few years and at this Olympics, if, if nothing else, um, has helped to inspire a generation in our local community. Um, I hope that if nothing else, uh, my achievements um, are able to show the young kids of, of the Hastings and, and wider mid North Coast community that uh, coming from a country area doesn't mean that you can't make it uh, to where I am today and to keep pursuing your dreams uh, and, and you never know what will happen. Um, finally, I, I did an interview the other day with Peter Fitzsimons and he said to me, um, when you look at that silver medal, does it say to you, that's enough, um, you've done everything you can, it's, it's time to retire now. And I said, uh, no, when, when I look at that silver medal, it, it says back to me, go out there and get my big brother. So, <laughs> I hope you all support me for another four years. Thank you.